Welcome! In this video tutorial, I will briefly show you the different tracking modalities implemented in Cell Tracker. Please, before running Cell Tracker, read the help documentation file provided with the software. Let us load a set of images. Any microscopic image has a certain degree of uneven illumination which may affect cell tracking algorithms. Accordingly, we suggest that you always perform vignetting correction. For tracking the cells, we have implemented several methods subdivided into three main categories – fully automatic, semi-automatic and manual tracking methods. Let us start with the automatic modality. When the button Automatic Tracking is pressed, some parameters are required. The first is Cell Detector Threshold. A few attempts are required to find a good value for this parameter. If it is set too high, the cells will not be detected. If it is too low, a lot of debris will be considered as cells. Set a small value as a first attempt. Memory for cells lost represents the maximum number of frames kept in the software memory when a tracked cell becomes temporarily undetected. Minimal track length is the minimum number of frames for which a cell has to be tracked in order to be considered as a valid data point. To compute the maximal expected displacement, you have to look at the position of a cell in two consecutive frames and measure the approximate shift in pixels. Let us play with the automatic tracking modality. We have to define a template of a representative cell by drawing a rectangle on its image. In this case, only a few cells have been correctly tracked. This means that the parameter set for the cell detector threshold is too high. Now, more cells are correctly tracked and we can remove the false tracks by using the Remove a Track button in the Edit Track menu. To track the cells that are not detected automatically, we can proceed with the semi-automatic modality. In this modality, we have to select the cells we want to track. In this case, we also have to define the cell diameter. Two different matching modalities are provided to find the correspondence of a cell in the following frames. Template matching is the default and it is the fastest. A rectangular template will be automatically defined around the cell and the position of that cell in the next frame will be defined looking for the best template correlation. In the histogram matching modality, the coordinates of the cells in the next frames will be defined by looking for the best correlation of the histogram. It is a slower matching modality, but it is not dependent on the orientation of the cell during its motion. In both of these modalities, the template is updated automatically at every fifth frame. Finally, we have also implemented a manual tracking modality to allow the user to precisely define the position of the cells in every frame. In case of a time step other than one, the missing coordinates can be computed by using two different algorithms. If linear interpolation is selected, the cell coordinates are computed by simply fitting a line between the points defined by the user. Otherwise, in case of dynamic interpolation, a globally optimal path is defined, maximizing the matching between the cell template and the images, restricting large, unrealistic jumps. I will show you the difference between these two interpolation modalities. This cell moves in a circular direction. Interpolating linearly the first and the last point manually selected, we obtain a false track. 
Meanwhile, dynamic interpolation is able to correctly follow the cell. As a conclusion, Cell Tracker offers a wide range of opportunities to track cells. Take your time to check which modality provides you the best results. Thank you for your attention.